Hey everybody, it's Pastor David from Walden Community Church. Tell me something. Have you felt free these past two years? Probably not. You've probably even felt like a prisoner in your own home. Not only that, but you felt lost. You don't know which end is up. What was true yesterday, it's a lie today. And you've been spun around so many times, you don't know who or what to trust. Colossians 2.8 says, See to it that no one takes you captive by philosophy and empty deceit, according to human tradition, according to the elemental spirits of the world, and not according to Christ. Can you see this happening in the world today? People who are being taken captive by deceit? Because even though the world tells you that you can have it all, or that you don't need other people, or that you can do this all by yourself, you start to realize, no, I'm still missing something. I'm not as happy as I thought I would be. You see, the very first lie that we are ever told is that your life and this planet it's all one big accident, one giant explosion, and then millions of years of other accidents, and then one day, accidentally, you're born. But see, if that were true, then nothing matters. If that's true, then there's no purpose, there's no plan, there's no morality, there's no reason for existence. But when God tells the story, his story says, for you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. God's story says that you are spiritual. God's story says that you are unique. God's story says that there is a purpose for your existence, that you're here for a reason, that you are wanted, that your life has meaning. Science can't explain any of that, even with all their theories. Heck, they can't even explain Sometimes even how your body works or why you have certain organs. <laughs> because truth isn't something we can make up. It's not a social construct. There's actually a spiritual law that is above human law and it's transcendent. There has to be. There has to be a higher standard than my desire or what is best for me. And this moral law is actually knowable because it's written on all of our hearts. You see, there's a law that transcends the laws of this world. And the law is truth, it's knowable, and it's within you. Now, sure, it can be distorted, it can be covered up by the world, and it has for thousands of years, but it's still there. And even more than that, we are accountable to that truth because it's knowable. It's knowable and it's doable. And I'm sure we've all heard somebody say, well, that's, that's your truth. That's your truth and I have my truth. There's no such thing as your truth and my truth. <laughs> There's only true. There is only God's truth. Truth has to be transcendent. You, you, know, you know why? Because we can't both be right. We can't both be right. Now, you might be closer to the truth than me, but we can't both be right. There is an objective standard of truth and it's outside of us. It's above us. And Jesus says that he is that truth. That his word is that truth. So I figured since we're all heading into the holidays, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, we're heading into all these seasons of cartoon movies and fairy tales, this seemed like a great time to drop some truth. And at Walden Church from now until New Year's, we'll be looking at the only truth that matters, the God's honest truth. We're gonna cover the Bible, where it came from. We're gonna talk about the history of Christianity and the truth behind the upcoming holidays. And this Sunday, we're going to start with the lies and the truth behind Halloween. I don't want you to miss it. We have two services every Sunday, one at 930, which is our traditional service. We have a choir. We also have a contemporary service at 11 o'clock with our worship team. We also have a children's program at that hour and youth group at that hour. We also have youth group during the week on Wednesdays at 6. You can send them over on their bikes or their skateboards. We will feed them dinner and send them home to you in an hour and a half. We want to be the church where you live. We are open and we'd love to have you visit. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you Sunday.